in our last video, we explained what makes hydrogen green and why it is needed for a fossil-free future. To produce green hydrogen, you need a lot of renewable power. Several countries in the Global South are endowed with strong winds and scorching sun that enable green hydrogen production at low cost. Many are now looking into green hydrogen derivatives like ammonia for export revenue. Some analysts predict a huge new international trade in green hydrogen derivatives. Whatever its final size, how could this new trade become fair and sustainable? In seven countries that currently have big plans for green hydrogen, we discuss the question with civil society, trade unionists, local communities and other stakeholders. Here are some of our main takeaways. First, take a strategic approach. The development of green hydrogen must be embedded in a country's development and energy transition strategy with meaningful participation of civil society. Producing countries could leverage international demand for green hydrogen to bootstrap the growth of renewable energies for their own domestic uses. A smart industrial strategy is needed to capture further added value and secure economic and energy benefits for the producing countries. It remains critical that green hydrogen production does not slow down the phase-out of fossil fuels in hydrogen-producing countries. Second, respect local communities' rights. The right to free, prior and informed consent needs to be upheld and legal support must be provided. Policies, clear criteria and standards are needed that ensure communities' rights to land and water. In dry coastal areas, desalinated seawater should be used for hydrogen production, providing fresh water also for human daily needs. Third, minimize environmental impact. When desalination is used, the brine needs to be disposed responsibly. For all installations, Good spatial planning and independent participatory impact assessments are key to avoid land use conflicts and ecosystems degradation. As green hydrogen is also a greenhouse gas, it is crucial to avoid any leaking of hydrogen. Although green hydrogen has a much better environmental footprint than fossil fuels, its use must remain very targeted to minimize resource and water use. None of this will happen by itself. We need reliable partnerships between northern and southern countries based on strong standards to make trade in green hydrogen derivatives fair and sustainable. Civil society needs to watch and engage to shape the development of this sector to ensure benefits for all. Read more in our synthesis paper. Click here.